This is really cool what Katie and Henry um, have acquired. Um, definitely worth listening to and trying to do what we can to support them. Um, $189,779 is a lot to get for a grant. And you guys did a great job. That was awesome. She, she took that, but I'm just trying to be nice to you. <laughs> no, you guys do. You do a great job. Um, Henry's going to be the officer that I'm, that's involved with this sooner or later when we get it figured out. Um, the nice part about this is this 108, and I'll let Kate talk about it. It's just, there's not going to be a match on our part if we can pull this off for four years here. So, Katie, you go ahead and let them know what you think you should know. Well, that was about it. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, it's a four year grant, three years, 36 months. They will pay, they will fund a officer's position, and then we have to keep them on for another 12 months. At that point, um, either we're hoping that we can find other ways to fund it or potentially reapply again. But moving to a fourth officer gives us the opportunity to kind of have more coverage for the city, making longer shifts, better work weeks, which should help with turnover, which we haven't had in a while, mostly because they're afraid of me. Um, but um, it gives us an opportunity to focus on some area issues. Um, it's no secret that we have drugs in the area. DUIs are still a thing. But it gives us the chance to put someone up at the school for 20 hours a week as an SRO. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it'll make vacations and training out of state a lot more feasible, scheduling for those. We won't have people that are kind of solo join it their whole time. So it should be a pretty significant stress relief for our department if we can make it fly. With having the other officer, one, when one takes a vacation, we each have to fill in for 48 straight hours. Which so is by, fun, by the which way. Which is yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, so by adding this other officer, we re we alleviate one person working 48 hours straight. Which is a huge safety. Mm -hmm. Well, this is also what you and I talked about earlier. It's not an SRO grant. It's no. not. It's, it's a fourth officer grant that gives us the opportunity to put someone up at the school a couple days a week. So the school benefits from the grant that you're trying to acquire, they're, they're, they're a big benefactor in this, for the time that they want, right? Yep. And then the other coverage would come like football game, basketball game, those kind of hours. Assemblies. Yep. Other, other things like that. Okay. Chaperoning trips, I didn't tell you about that, you have to do that too. <laughs> Hope you can ski. <laughs> Well, <laughs> where were you guys at when we were in school? There was lots of uh, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be honest. I, I was probably just a toddler. Right. <laughs> oh, that's not what you said. 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 That's not Kind of the next item on the agenda is the MOU, and we don't have it quite figured out, so that is something that we're probably going to end up having to table and then do a special meeting for once we get it all straightened out, but they are on board. Um, we did kind of run into a hiccup today, but I think Jake and I got it straightened out about an hour ago, so it's good. It's a lot of details. To it is. Navigate, though. It is, and so, you know, finding out and then trying to get everything in motion because School's not that far out again, mm -hmm. hopefully. God help us if I have to learn sixth grade math. Mm -hmm. So what's our plan for our fourth officer then? The fourth officer would fill in um, as a regular patrol officer, that way we can get him to learn the area. Right, but who's, do we have a candidate for that, or is that going to be a reserve stepping up into that position you possibly? We have to go out. We have to go out. It has to be yeah. a new officer. Well, a new it could it could be, it needs to be a new applicant. It needs to be a new applicant. Yeah. Yeah. It, so it, reserves yeah. could apply as well as anybody, someone from out well, of state. That's yeah. What yeah. I mean. You, yeah. It can't be her. Well, right. It can't be Travis. 
to right. fund your wages. It has to be a yeah. new person. So we'll have to post it for probably two weeks on mm -hmm. put it on job services, get it out there, get it posted, and just then start the, the whole get a hiring board going, all that good stuff like that. Yeah. I assume we'll get. I I I think actually right now with. Some of the other stuff going on in certain areas of our country, it's pretty feasible. We'll actually get, probably get some, uh, our guys that are already cops looking to escape yeah. big city life. So hiring, I don't think, is going to be the issue. You're getting everything finalized. So what's our timeline between kind of finalizing up with Jake and being able to say we're good to go, and then put a. Uh, so I think the first step is you guys agree to the contract, and then um, after that, getting with Jake, which I don't think is going to take a super long time. I would kind of like to have a couple other people there with me just when we talk it through, because realistically, I'm kind of just a knuckle driver. Um, but we have someone who knows our finances very, very well, and I think it'd be great to have her as a part of it, and potentially um, a council person, <coughs> Crystal. Um, can I say something? Yes. Um, we can always approve this grant, but not act on it until we get the agreement with the school. So it's probably a good idea to to act on this tonight, I table the MOU with the school, and approve that at the a meeting before the budget meeting. And potentially it could be as early as Monday. That we all kind of sit down and have a thought, which just kind of depends on the schedule. Mm -hmm. okay. At the end of the four years, what do we do? Either reapply for the grant, or anyone have a rich uncle? <laughs> no? If I did, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, historically, with the COPS grant, um, there are agencies that have actually retired officers on this grant. So, it's just, it, it would ultimately, we would. We'll apply for it again, and I wouldn't see why we wouldn't get it, especially if we show just cause that it was needed and works, which we will, because it is. Um, and we'll reapply, we'll get it, so every, so pretty much we'll get it, and at the end of that fourth year, we'll just keep this same thing in motion and do it all over again. It's also... And it said uh, that you can rehire. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, the same officer. Yes, yes. The same yes. Officer. Keep the funding and everything approved. And just keep the same staff. Yeah. This funding. is also classified as a hardship status, right? Uh, for us? For you. Well, my job in general. Sometimes it can be up there. Well, that, it's not all about The grant. No. Uh, so the grant, yes, there is no cash match for us because, yes. The full vote. We got the full mm -hmm. Yes. yes, and that's a, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And this also, uh, the scheduling part of this is, is standbys and all that kind of stuff you're going to stay on, right? Mm -hmm. you're gonna have more, Can you explain see, that a little bit? So you're going to see more officers out. So right now the way that it works for us to be able to cover 24 hours of three people is we have usually, if everything works well, eight hours of patrol and four hours of standby. So this would actually cut that down because we'd have 10 and 10. Mm -hmm. um, obviously that would change if you know someone comes out early or has court training stuff like that but um, it'll get us more officers in the area at those times when people aren't really expecting us. I also believe it's going to cut down on the overtime as a whole. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just being able to go to the 10 hour shifts mm -hmm. we're going to be out later and earlier in the morning later in the eve later at night which will Cut down significantly on the call out times. Significantly. Mm -hmm. And then we get, you know, three days off, which which is yeah. it's kind of nice to be able to actually get away from work. Mm -hmm. I'm told. So grant wise, money wise, that covers equipment. Everything or is that we are gonna have some initial costs. Um, we already have the Crown Vic, so we already have a car, sorta. Um, we got an old maintenance truck too. Yeah, throw. the Chevy. We'll just <laughs> undercover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, Did you can you pick up my bumper? I'm sorry. Um, so we'll get the electrical side off the door on that. Perfect. Thank phone. you. We'll just write over it. And cops. Um, you know, there's going to be some cost potentially to the academy. That all just depends on the applicant that we choose. It could be something as simple as sending them to the LAOQ, which is 
about a week. Um, they could already have a full certificate in the state. It, and that really kind of depends. That cost is going to depend on the person we choose. Um, then you're going to have outfitting them. I think right now we do have some stuff in stock upstairs, depending on what it is. Um, I did also, if you look at the department report, I did apply for the um, BPB, BPC <coughs> grant. So um, we would, if it goes through, only have half of the initial cost of their ballistic vest. So that would save us a little bit of money there as well. Um, it, it'll give you more time to be a chief in theory. as far as uh, paper duties and things like that too, right? Yeah. Where somebody else could be doing what they're supposed to be, and you could be up catching up, so we don't have logs and you know everything up to date. That's going to improve that quite a bit. Doable, but yeah, I'll, oh. I'll be able to do like one thing at a time instead of seven. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, some people might know not know Katie, but I, I know Katie quite well, and Chief uh, volunteers a heck of a lot for dispatch, the ambulance. Whenever Henry needs it for backup, the school, but everybody. So uh, there's going to be people that don't want to see for we we can't afford for the city. Well, yeah, but we're not. The grants doing that, you know. And if we can keep everything in that kind of a realm, you know, in, in the effort you guys put in, and, and you live in an area that does like the blue, for one thing, and we support you guys. And I know that, and um, I, I don't see any reason why not. At least that kind of money, we got to give it a try. You agree? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't really tell. So, I mean, the main domain concern for us would have been if we were trying to put a fourth officer on it, and we didn't have this grant. Mm -hmm. yeah. and just being able to go through the budget trying to find, you know, Rob and Peter to pay Paul and trying, to, trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it would be infeasible probably to be able to do it. But with the school that. and... I can't even do that. Okay. Yeah, with mm -hmm. the school being able to chip in and, and a grant, I think it's a good idea. And the Chief's already, she's, uh, we've had to go back, you guys asked the departments to go back and sharpen the pencils on their own areas of concern, and she's done a really good job with that, too, on top of all of this, so. What's the school chip 15,000. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> it's next. Okay, that was see that. Yeah. So how do you know about that? So we need to, we need to make a motion on the grant, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't make that. So if you guys, Go ahead, I was going to say, if for, if for some reason we do not get the additional support from the school, we can always withdraw from mm -hmm. the grant. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't want to do that. A lot of money. Right. Yeah. We, pull up. we got the plan to Right. Okay. Yeah. That's we a lot do. of that, so, yeah. <laughs> Crystal <laughs> made a motion. I did. Okay, well, we're already doing it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We have a motion. We have a second. From who? Crystal Moore. Josh. Josh. Oh, okay. second. All in favor? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Through agreement with Troy School District for school resource officer. Um, you just have two of them here. One's from the city and one is from the school. Um, Tracy got online and, and this one here was pretty much Whitefish had a, this was the best one. There's several out there, but this was the one she thought, and I thought was probably the best one that fits us. And Cliff might have part of, you know, something to write this for. Okay. And you see down there, and then I'll let Katie and Tracy, you know, talk a little bit about this, but um, 
it was the 15,000 each year leading up to the fourth year constitutes 60,000 for that fourth year, and that would pay the officer. And, you know, all the stuff that goes alongside with insurance and all this kind of stuff. Um, the way I look at it, I know it's hard to get the whole meaning of it in a short of a time period, but it gives the descriptions of, and the duties and all that that's going to be asked of the police, the city, and the SRO officers. You know, they, they want them for training, mentoring, all kinds of things. Well, when he's there. Well, I guess we really need to see what the final draft is. And Correct. To be able to... <clears throat> it's changed three times since I just sat down. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's... So we're table in this, right? Correct. Yeah. If, you, if you want to... I would say that. Yeah, I'm just so which agreement are you and Jake working off of? So the one that we're working off of is the one that Tracy has. Um, it's the white fish one. It'll have the four numbers broken down at the bottom, the fifteen thousand. Okay. Could you propose? Yep. <clears throat> And is it mostly the, the scheduling concerns he has that you're still working on? So that was one of the issues, and we just recently worked through that. So I'm going to meet with him on Monday and bring him kind of a mock schedule because it's easy for him to say what he needs and me to say what I need. But until you're looking at 24 hours of coverage, it makes it really difficult to kind of absorb. Right. Good. Did you decide on the time? Not yet, I was going to talk to you. It's not going to be eight. Not at eight. Eight thirty. No. Let me know, I'll be there. Well, you have corresponded with Mr. Franklin? Mm hmm And you're uh, working it out pretty good? Yeah. He's understanding the questions we have? Because mm -hmm. he was a little confused on, on several prices there. Well, and a lot of it is just understanding why we have, you know, our needs. Because for them, it's it's just they operate in the school realm, and for us, it's completely different. And we might not understand what they have going on. And so, until we can sit down and say, "Hey, this is why I need A, B, and C," they don't quite understand why D's even there. So, good. That's good. Did did, did they have this highlighted in school or? Mm -hmm. uh, those were the changes that they had made, and I believe the changes Tracy highlighted them for. Yeah, sure it is, and but like I said, it's been changed. Yeah, I, I got another one probably 15 minutes before it started. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the plan is to table this until the final negotiations are done, right? Mm -hmm. And that could be by next week. Yes. yes. We'll have a meeting. You know, any of you people want to go, you're more than welcome to go to that if we do this, because I think it would be beneficial for all of us to bring up a, a question or two, or, or if they may have something, so we can get it all out and make it right. Yes. You know, so it helps you guys. Mm -hmm. I would recommend reading through there if you guys have questions or you have suggestions, stuff like that. We're open to them. So. Okay. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions for the chief, uh, I'd ask for a motion to approve a table for this. Chuck has a Makes a motion. Second. Second. PJ second. All in favor? Amen. So I hope you got something out of that video. If you didn't, feel free to give a thumbs down. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can subscribe over here, check out some other videos down here, and you can always reach out to me at ben at nwmtnow.org. Thank you.